Okay, so we got our falls on, but they are not completely attached yet. See all that glue? Just come play on. And this is why it doesn't matter, because we're not done. Now I have my drill. Um, this is a handy thing to have. Again, it's good for drilling out the handles if you're going to weight them. Um, and it's also good because this is how ultimately I attach my falls. Anybody done any woodwork? If you ever try to screw into a piece of wood, what ultimately happens is you break the wood. Bad idea. So, if you know anything about woodworking, you always want to pre-drill any screw you're going to put in. Same as the case here. We're so close to the bottom, if you put a screw in and a screw in and it splits the wood, it's going to create a Y shape at the bottom and your falls come right off. So what you want to do is pre-drill your holes. This is a, an eighth inch bit. I'm using number six flathead screws. Um, again, I'm using flathead screws because when I wrap them, I put a knot over them. You don't want bulges from the round head screws coming through. So all I do, in this small amount of space, and the screws are long enough that you basically just want to offset them a little bit. You don't want to have the screws kind of meeting in the middle. So I do kind of one on one side at the top and one on the other side at the bottom. And I always try to find where my end is that I, that I finished on. So, we drill both sides. There we go, see? Uh, three quarter inch is what these are. So that means it'll go through the leather, it'll get good penetration on the wood, but it won't go all the way through the wood and poke screws at the other side. If you hear me screaming, I went all the way through the folder. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you ever seen him? The guy that shows up at the leather event at a, or events in, in uh, Kentucky. And he's got this, he's one of those like Jim Rose circus sideshow people. And he lets you staple money to him. Like with a staple gun. So he keeps all the money. That's his gig. Right? That's how he makes the money. So he goes home full of holes and you know, pockets full of singles. To the metal sound. Yeah. Nice! <laughs> yeah, he was a well, see, that's the thing is, I would just if it was me, I would have a magic marker. I'd be writing like prices on everything, right? Like you know, dollar in the shoulder. I'm good with that. that. Yep. Anything here, twenty bucks. You know. <laughs> um, uh, because the leather is flexible, you're going to see it actually goes in past the leather. There's not going to be any screw exposed. Now. That being said, there is some other things that I do. Just to be sure. Now, again, following along, nail, glue, screws on two sides. They're not going anywhere. And again, if I didn't go up three quarters of an inch, even with the screws, you'd feel, if you were moving it, the falls torquing. This gives you enough space up the handle to make sure that it's not going to happen. So, here we go. Black and blue. Okay. Now, there's a Just so you know, we have five minutes left on the desk. Five minutes left on the what? This god. That's that's your problem. Now he moves really slowly. I just I said I forgot it was being taped. I just like Big Brother. I just. Okay. Don't forget to thank her. So a wrap of tape. Um, again, what I want to do with this is I'm just covering the screw heads. Okay. Now this part is just for camera. What I'm gonna do is, um, as you saw in this piece, you'll see that there's like a, a nub under here, right? Um, and I'll show you how that happens. But what I wanna do is I want to bind all of my falls below, which is why, if we look backwards, I cut everything up to a half an inch. If it was cut down to three quarters of an inch, that would still be one piece of leather here, and trying to get it sucked in underneath the handle gets to be a real pinch. At least when all the falls are loose, they'll tie up really nicely. 
And again, this is why the wax thread is really important as opposed to something else, some strings, because it's thin, I can do a lot with it, but it's got great, watch another snap the first time, or like a Microsoft demo. Um, but it's got great tensile strength, so I can really, really get in there and put a lot of tension on this. Right, and what I'm doing, as you can see, is I'm, I'm getting all my falls basically connected underneath the handle. Um, and I always have an explanation for that, because when you look up someone's skirt, you don't want to find wood. That's sort of just a general rule that I have. Heterosexually speaking. Well, yeah. Thank you. Well, braiding speaking, anyway. This is a mixed grade. Hey, 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 I wasn't talking about sex. Hey, yeah, just calm down. Sure. This is all braiding. Okay, so you can see I've got a, like a, a nub there now. Uh, and the reason that's important is if you're going to be doing knots, you need a space to be able to anchor your, your knots onto. Otherwise, they slide all over the place and it gets real ugly real fast. So, again, tape is our friend. Uh, another great thing, um, and this is just coincidence, by the way, because you can get it in any color. But black electrical tape is great because almost everybody wants black toys. So, you, you don't see anything. Okay. Now again, this is just a cosmetic thing. This space that I've created, although it does have a bit of an indent, for me personally, this is just a personal thing, I don't feel like it's enough space for me, never have, it's not just this piece, for me to put my knot on effectively. So what I always do, and I always do this for a couple of reasons. Because I've got a piece of leather, and I can tell you this, this is one of these measurements that generally will work out. If your knot is up three quarters of an inch, which is where we wrapped it, and you tie it underneath, a strip of leather an inch and a quarter, and I, you'll notice that I haven't done this yet, if I lay this at the top of my knot, it will cover the string area. Oh, look at that. And that will give me enough of a, an anchor point at the bottom for me to do the knots. Now, except for you, because I know that's what you're here for. Did anybody come to learn knots? Because you're going to be really disappointed. Because that's like a whole other class on its own. So all I do is I do two wraps on this. And when I say two, I mean I literally bring it right around to the points where they touch. Now this is again one of these things that might seem a little bit strange. With this piece of leather, all I'm gonna do is tape it on. People say, well, it won't come off. When you do the knot, the knot is actually anchored at the back against the stuff that we all just glued on. So the knot's gonna go anywhere, which means this little piece of leather is not going anywhere either. I'm just using it as, a, as an anchor, like I said, for the knot. And what's going to happen uh, when you do the knot is that the, the leather actually will extend a little bit past where your anchor point is. So it's great for covering everything. And that's it. Now again, from a practical perspective, this is the flock. This is it. It is ready to go. Everything else, even the braiding, is just decoration. So the last thing that you have to know is how to attach a, a, a wrist strap. Now, unfortunately, that's the one thing I don't have. I didn't get a chance to braid a wrist strap. You can do them flat if you want. I won't like it. Who gives a shit what I 